Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to assert the number of pages in a PDF document. Let me answer. In Selenium, by default, doesn't have any inbuilt mechanism to verify the PDF documents. Okay, so we have to depend on an external library known as PDF box library. By using this library, we can verify the PDF documents. Okay, so let me practically demonstrate how to use this PDF box library for asserting the number of pages in a PDF document in this with a practical demonstration. For that, I'll open the Eclipse ID. And here, inside this, uh, inside this, I will create a test method public void. I'll say verify pages. Okay, I'll just give some name, name. And here on the top of this method, I'll just uh, provide at the rate test annotation. This will convert this normal method into the test and the test method. Once it is converted to test and the test method, now I need to add this uh, PDF box library. Okay, because I need to use PDF. Uh, so I have to use this uh, thing, P PD document. Okay, I have to use this predefined class known as PD document here. Document dot. It's not going to work because this library is not there in this configured in this project, not configured in this project. Okay. So to get this, to use this predefined class from PDF box library, I have to go to this form.xml file. In the form.xml file, go to the dependencies tags. In the dependencies, add the dependency tags for PDF box here. Okay. So I'll just uh, open the browser and uh, search for MVN repository. In the MVN repository, I'll search for PDF box. Okay. Don't give any space here. Search it like this PDF box without space. And you will get this Apache PDF box. Just click on this. And you'll be taken to this page where uh, you take the stable version. So far, this is a stable version. We have 2.0.28 uh, for now when I'm recording the session. Copy this uh, Maven dependency tags and uh, come here and paste it. Okay. In the palm.xml file of the project, you paste it. Now save this. The libraries of this PDF box will be automatically downloaded and automatically configured in this project. Once, once the loading is done, just go and hover here. Uh, I'll throw a PDF document. Now you are getting some methods. Earlier you were not getting it. PD document dot, you are getting something. You just use this load of input stream. Here we have to give the input stream. Okay. So what is that input stream and all? I'll cover later. <clears throat> now, first of all, I need to write this line web driver. Driver is called a new Chrome driver. Okay. And uh, over the mouse, import it here also. Import this Chrome driver class also. After that, driver dot manage dot window dot maximize, then driver dot get here provide the uh, URL of the PDF. Okay. We have to provide the URL of the PDF. How to provide the URL of the PDF? For that, go here and Google search for simple PDF online. Simple PDF. Okay, here a simple PDF file, Africa University is there. Click on that link. A PDF uh, document will come. This is the URL of this PDF, PDF document. Okay, copy that URL and paste it here. That's it. Okay, this is the URL. Now, what I have to do next is uh, after this, okay, before going here, PDF document dot load, before coming there, you have to do one thing. You have to specify, you have to represent the URL. Okay, URL, URL, uh, otherwise PDF URL is equal to new URL, like this you have to create, okay? And import this URL from java.net. And here, this cannot be empty. Here, we have to pass the URL, okay? So either you can pass this part otherwise, okay? Like this, you can represent the URL, okay? Here, you are opening this uh, PDF, uh, online PDF uh, URL in the browser. And after that, you are representing this URL, this same URL you are representing as URL. Now say PDF URL dot open open stream, okay? You have to say open stream. This will return you the input stream, okay? Write down input stream is is equal to like this, okay? Over the mouse on this input stream and import from java.io package. Now give this input stream here in this method, okay? Once you give this input stream in this method, over the mouse and say add to those declaration. Ignore the exception. In real time, you have to use try catch blocks. Uh, fine, PD document dot load dot is. Once we have loaded the PDF document, okay, this load method is going to return you an object of the PD document. Write down PD document, PD, P 
PDF document otherwise. Okay, here PDF document name is equal to like this. You can say now say PDF document. Once you have loaded the PDF document, PDF doc document dot, you have a method to get the number of pages. What is that method name? Get number of pages. There is a method. Okay, get number of pages. This will get you the number of pages. Okay, when you have opened this PDF document here, how many pages are there? Two are there. So <laughs> this will return you the number of pages in the form of integer int actual pages, actual pages in PDF document. Now here I'll write exchange assertion saying assert dot assert equals let's take one thing. And here we have to give the actual one, actual pages I'll give here. And here what is expected? Let's say two only. Okay, I'm expecting two. So if if actual pages uh, that are retrieved from the PDF document is equal to two, then the test is going to pass. Otherwise, the test will fail. Right? Driver dot switch and quit the browser. Now run the script. So there is a way to do it. If the test is passing, means uh, things are good. Right click run as. Recently test. So we are able to retrieve the number of pages and uh, we are comparing that number of uh, actual pages with the expected pages. Okay. So this is the logic we have to write. The test got passed. That means it's working fine. What if I give a different count here, like four, but actual pages will be two only, but two, two is not equal to four. This uh, asset equals will fail and the test method will fail. Right click, run as SNG test. Let's see here what's going to happen. It's not closing means something wrong happened. That is the test got paid. Okay. You see that test got paid because it found expected is four pages, but found only two pages. That's the reason it got paid. Okay. That's the reason the test got paid. So it's working fine. This is a code. This is a code. So if I give two, it will pass again. Okay. Anyhow. So this is a code for verifying or asserting the number of pages in a PDF document. For that, we need this uh, PDF uh, box library, okay? And, uh, you know, with this method, get number of pages method from PD document class, uh, you know, we can uh, retrieve the number of pages. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.